Welcome to the Bear Bryant Show. We're glad you could join our review of the exciting action of your University of Alabama's Crimson Tide football. The Bear Bryant Show is brought to you by your local Coca-Cola bottle. Have a Coke and a smile. Golden Flake Snacks, the taste as good as gold. And Central Bank, across Alabama, all the bank you'll ever need. Now let's take a look at this week's game. Alabama versus Vanderbilt. With comments by Coach Paul Bear Bryant and me, Charlie Thornton. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome once again to the Bear Bryant Show. Brought to you by Ice Cold Coca-Cola. Mm. By the Central Bank, across Alabama, all the banks you'll ever need. And by Golden Flake. Today we have cheese curls. We'll put out here, maybe we can... You strong enough, Charlie? Yes, sir. I feel good and strong. Coach, it was a 28-7 to Alabama victory over Vanderbilt last night, and rather unique in that the defense scored the first 16 points in the football game. Well, I think that's right, Charlie, but I want to talk to you just a second about the new look at Vanderbilt. I think they've done a national job up there, and they upgraded their facility in the first place. They uh, used to go in there, it was dark, and it was colored with the stadium, and the poor lighting was... Uh, Trying to give you a good season, but now it kind of picks you up because they do have a new stadium, they enlarge the stadium, uh, probably double it, I guess, almost like 41,000 or something. And uh, they're painted white, or uh, uh, the, the lights are much stronger, and they uh, have access, and they have a new access, and it looks terrific, and uh, they address the facility, the facility to go along with it are uh, excellent, and uh, the largest crowd they've ever had for an event in Nashville, and I'm real happy. And I'm real happy and pleased that our team won. And uh, I know that uh, Coach Donahue and uh, Coach Yard and Crew and Campbell and them are awfully happy that the Blue Pets won. Uh, it reminded me in the opposite direction of our game in Mississippi last year, Mississippi coming up. Uh, our offense scored 50 something points, and our defense gave up 35. And the uh, last season, uh, of course, the defense did all the scoring, and I think it's good. And of course, the defense had more ways to score than the offense, and uh, they were happy to see them score. And uh, the offense did nothing to get whipped and wallow around, and not wallow around, but uh, a back didn't block in the body, and there were a few people blocked in the body. And, but uh, Vanderbilt was uh, handicapped too severely because of the fact that they didn't have the young quarterback Taylor. And I didn't know they weren't going to have him until just two, three minutes before we kicked off. And uh, I think that uh, Coach McIntyre was had his good judgment in not playing him because if he played him, he might have gotten injured again and uh, re injured and been out for the rest of the year. He gets you well now, and uh, we've done that often day last night on some people. Well, then he ought to be really able to play. But the best thing Vanderbilt did, really, the best thing he ever had, with the exception of one time, that was the first time they punted, was their kicking game. And I think our kicking game stood out, too. So we had one fight kicking game, we don't know where we'd have been. And defensively, it's very difficult to, to rush Vanderbilt, although I think our players did it well. It's very difficult to rush them and con to contain them. So they spread out so much, and uh, you've got to drop so many people back. You don't on short passes, they'll beat you to death. And when you do, it's very difficult to contain them until they get outside of you. And I think when, when we really hurt them on rushing the passer was uh, from the backside. I, I was, uh, when you didn't see us, he's coming the other way. When he's spreading out, we didn't contain him well at all. And I'm not being critical of that because it's very difficult to do with thing that I'm worrying about so much is the fact that there's four kids coming up next week and Collins the following week, and he, he let them get on the outside. If you don't contain them, they ruin you. But our, our defense did a terrific job. They rushed the passer. They had the big play. They intercepted four passes. I think you had it or somebody had it five, Charlie, and, uh, and uh, they forced the fumble in the air after the interception. A fumble, the defense can't run with the fumble if it hits the ground. The fumble in the air, uh, the same as an interception, and uh, Russ Wood ran in for a touchdown. So our first nine points uh, was scored by the defense, plus the fact that they gave the ball to the offense over and over, which was uh, in a good field position in a position to score. 
And uh, as a matter of fact, our offense gave them the ball in the four down zone uh, uh, for when they for the stretch down that they scored. And we were in man to man when it happened. And uh, we didn't get a rush on the passer. And we're not going to be in man to man and not didn't have them covered very long. I really ought to have them all covered because they were the right man. But uh, anyway, I'm so proud of them and happy for winning. And, I'm ashamed of myself for the way our, our offense has come along because we've gradually gotten worse every week. And we're going to try to do something about that. Uh, the big thing that's happening to us is I've talked so much about the speed we're going to have all year. I mentioned this to the players uh, Friday or sometime. And the kind of speed we have has been running the sideline to sideline. Except the LSU game, we broke through a couple of runners. But the speed really far is quickness. Best thing about speed, you get the man you want to block. You get to him in a hurry. And uh, go to the linebacker in a hurry if you're supposed to block him. Or go to the end in a hurry, the corner man in a hurry. Or the deep man. And uh, that's where your speed comes in. And you can have a mule running with the ball ordinarily if you have enough speed to, to get to blocking. And I've done a real poor job with that. And our quarterbacks, he said, well, how many of the quarterbacks don't do it for Quarterbacks don't have a chance to do much. It's pretty hard to do something back there with somebody around your neck all the time. You've got to penetrate the defense to move the football. And uh, we had a few good blocks and uh, not, not a whole lot. And, and uh, But anyway, their defense was after us and they whipped us. So they had a good plan defensively. They were coming after us. They were scraping off the middle linebacker. I think we've seen the quarterback ever play, and we didn't know it till today. And that's not very, they don't recommend that because you got four or five people helping you watch it. And uh, they gave us a set that uh, we could, didn't, couldn't or didn't get on their linebackers very well, but it wouldn't make a difference anyway where we're going in there. Leaning up against them the way they lean up against the end. But thankfully the defense rose up and, uh, and won a football game, and they did win a football game. I don't ever like to point out I was not too much the defense, the offense. I like for them to kind of compete with one another. It's all a one, one being a team proposition and the whole thing in some phase stand out. I think, as I said, I thought our kicking was excellent. Our coverage was good. And uh, we came out a winner at 3 0 in the conference, and I'm real happy for it. And hopefully, we can have a good game this week. we we'll better, or we'll be in trouble. Bad, bad trouble. We'll be back to the first quarter of action following these messages from our spot. Now, you don't have to lock up your money for six months or longer to get double-digit interest. With Central Bank's Easy Access Investment, you can get your money anytime from 30 to 89 days. Recently, this investment has paid up to 15% on as little as $1,000. So call or come by your nearest central bank and ask for the current rate and more details. Don't lock up your money. Stay short with Central's Easy Access Investment. We won the toss, I think, for the fourth consecutive week. I don't like that. I like to lose the toss. And we did a poor job feeding the ball, going away from it. I'll let the man take it coming in. But our captains were Klein and Robbie Jones on defense, Gavin Gray on for the kicking team, and uh, Martin Joe Beaver for the offense. And two tight ends to start the game with him. Probably been better with Shady in the entire game. That double wing back to the two tight ends, man in motion. Tim Cole is a quarterback. That's freshman Ricky Moore running the ball in that field. Red yards the first time. They will hit you too. Vanderbilt plays a 4 3 most of the time, and they bring them, and they bring them hard. Beside our tight end, they're having two men off down there like Kentucky did. They're shaking all running with us so hard with those other people, and we weren't blocking them. Double wing again. I've Guard bouncing and flounces around there. Got to be a 
team last will face that. Oh, no, King Cole. It's only quarterback. Nobody touches him in here, and you see what happens. Oh, And that's blocked in. Oh, they got six. Look, Coley out of cut. Our fullback went the wrong way, and we had a good play going. See out there? There's no, nobody out there. We had a lead blocker. Malcolm Sherman's punted. punted. We got this one down back there and got them backed up. They uh, they do a good job of kicking game. Although they punt formation, they'll get some blocked. They give you a different look every time, and that's kind of they move on. That's going to snap the ball too soon. I certainly did that once too during the evening. I ran this little back then. We did that also. Here comes the safety watch right up the middle. Jackie Klein comes through the block it. They put different men in the backfield on it. Jackie Klein blocked it. He blocked it too well. Just out of the end zone. He blocked it just a little bit easier where he spun around the end zone. And maybe he got it for a touchdown. It's been a safety anyway. So they take over two rows, two of zips, and they have to punt from the 20 yard line, as you know, of course. Carter Joe coming. Carter gets, you can hear the way he got his bell rung. Joe Carter from uh, Starkville, Mississippi. He's out now, doesn't play anymore. And the option play it was real hard running there. It was a good effort downfield blocking. Uh, Jeff Fagan running with the football, and Bart Kraut was down there. Get him a little man up by you. Ken Coley, the quarterback. We trying to run in the circle. That way we came to the early snap of the third and one, and we got the one. Very fortunate. We got the pass down. That's the raw right spin. Joe Beasley, Doug Vickers, Bob Kedrak. We started Bob, but wasn't thinking about playing him really. Mike Edcock, Mott, Steve Mott. Texas is all right then, but you see the corner man came up with the outside linebacker. Great soft, and uh, he didn't have a chance. Malcolm Simmons punched again. Holcomb snapped the back. And Holcomb from Atlanta. Malcolm Simmons from Montgomery. Let's take over now, and there's a few times they have a three men in the backfield, which did the incomplete the pass. There's Boyd out there, Thomas Boyd making the play. Where my Castillo, he was an excellent football player. I feel as well as they played, there's one thing that we got to improve on is shoulder tackling and going for the ball just like that. We should have the football. We arm tackle too much. Just get back to make your arm tackle. We had the big rush on the end, and Thomas Boyd's back there. So, no, it's Mike Pitts Pitt going for a loss. Loss of eight on the play. That's the first time we used that blitz that Pitts did. They'll start picking it up later on. So they're punting again. We didn't get much follow through on that one. Going on. So, Mobile, out of that one. Fat caught the ball. Off Lewis was a quarterback. Off Lewis a quarterback. We got back tip go see there uh, like the one might have to get somebody. They come to sweep. They had it shot the gap, had everybody cut off and taking all he could do to try to get back to the line of swimming. Pick out here. That was a nice wall off block then. Paul Cruz running with the football. He just sat two right there. Paul is from what is it? I'm at Mission Pitcher. No. Now this summer kick it again. Ashford, Tennessee. We saw George Lindsay up there. Jasper. Thomas Boyd making the tackle there. Thomas is singing from Huntsville. Didn't see Joe Namus. Joe was there. I think he went back yesterday morning. They were doing some kind of thing. A real fine defense there. The entire team. See that Nate Coach Johnny who smile, and he doesn't smile very often. Chain off here, taking a long count. 
He started to put the rush on him. He put the rush on him. He got rid of it. A beautiful play. That was a great play with that young quarterback. Throw that ball with him all in Watch the mustache. Watch this Coach, here comes the fumble in the air. Fumble in the air, and it's got there by Russ Wood. Russ looks like he's slow. I'm, I'm almost certain that Randy Edwards calls the ball. Back off the ball. Well, it's like most interceptions, someone calls it about right. putting the pressure on it. He's a mighty glad to happen to see that. So we get another touch, we get a touchdown here. Yeah, I'm going to link the arm and get a touchdown. Peter Kim's in there, hope it's after the back. Adam Gray holds it, Peter kicks it through. He missed the field goal, I think it's really my fault. I've been by asking about moving around back there, and I think he's thinking about that. Santa's kicked off, and that man tripped up the one himself. He was doing a little bit of D there to put on a boot, as we call it. And they had a ball that fell in the center of the quarterback. We had several of those in practice last week, it was. Don Elias was in there then, had another tip. We I thought that before the game, that us getting kicked could be the difference in the football game, really. He's outside, that's what I'm talking about, containment there. And he reached for him, and then he picked him up, died for him. Well, Florence didn't watch. Florence is a freshman, and a good one. He's in the in a pride, in the watch for Pensacola. Let's kick it again. Aside from the, the block punt and the grabbing the funnel in the air, there's not much excitement other than the game. Not much in the entire game, really, from a spectator standpoint, except the beautiful pass of Glenn Coley to Joey Jones. Paul Lewis is quarterback now. Uh, Collins running with the football at the end of the quarter. Alabama 9, Vanderbilt zip. And thus I bequeath my mansion, my automobiles, my stocks and bonds, and all my gold to my third cousin, Angela. Angela? Who has always shown exceptionally good taste. Golden Flake Corn Chips, the fresh, crisp, golden light taste your family will treasure. Golden Flake, good as gold. Smile. It's five o'clock. Yeah. And it's Friday. had a chance yesterday to visit uh, the stadium and Roy Kramer and George Bennett took see and it's really first class all the way. You were talking about that. Yeah, yeah, I had a nice day with Roy while the team was warming up last night and he was really, he was asking about this situation now and they have uh, either two or three sellouts in advance and uh, they had a sellout last night and he told me almost had a third sellout. Because I feel well about our situation, Charlie. We, Playing three games away from home to begin with, well, that doesn't he's very high for an athletic director. On the other hand, he's very fortunate because we played the three, the three sellouts away from home. And uh, now we get to be at home or in the state for six, and six games. And maybe, just maybe, we can start doing some things that take to win football games. I think there's a possibility. But uh, they, they spent a lot of money on that thing this summer. Yeah, yeah. Some of that. They got it in seven months' time, which means that you won't do badly enough. And of course, they had another thing that helped them a lot. They nearly everything they did, every contract they had in the deal was a Vanderbilt man. And that meant that they had a strike or something, they were going to put the best foot forward and did. And they now have a real beautiful set of facilities up there. I'm real happy for them. I saw Sam Newton, and he was very happy up there. And 
I'm about to came by and visited with me. He acted like he kind of came to visit with me a little while. I hope it's... <laughs> I don't mean that, but he was... A little funny to him. He was real happy and doing well. Let's get on in the second quarter, back. Second quarter. Looks like we're going to score a bunch of points here. I was thinking so, but we're not. There they come. Jeff Fagan is out here running with all. They'll find running with Jeff. That's a block down there, I believe, by the Bingo. So. We did well to get rid of the ball there. And Walter Lewis. We used Kansas City protection, but we forgot to block anybody. We had a nice block. So we was all running in the wrong direction when we kicked the ball. When we fielded the ball, you got to run toward that goal line. Walter keeps the ball here. We need about 10, and we get about four, and we have him swinging around the neck. So we're playing in spread formation. Had a nice day with Fred Russell. Knock him some and kicks out of bounds. Fred was kind of the dean of the sports people in the country, one of the best writers I've ever read after a real fast person. We had a trap play called in and put two men on our linebacker, somebody, and put him out his back. John Elias made the stop. For no I played John Elias, pretty good football player. Oh, Josh Henderson? Josh Henderson came up and made the tackle there. Josh made a good tackle up at Kentucky on the kickoff, too. Josh has a crest on his hand. He's had on that thing like forever. I know it seems long enough for him. Full house backfield. They don't go in the full house backfield very often, I'll tell you that. I looked at split the job between the right guard and the center. And then kicking off at one time, they kicked off with double wing, another time one wing. Roy Jones, field the football. We have good field position again now. Let's see what we do. Here we come out of there. Not much space. That's our nice stick. We throw the football. They recovered. Vanderbilt's so now they're about 28. About three or four plays, they're going to score. He's back to pass. We have another chip we don't get, but we're trying to get it. We're just not very fast to put back there. We Here's the touchdown. Have a rush on, don't get anybody to him. He beats our man here and gets in the end zone for touchdown. Beautiful play by Vanderbilt. Well, that's the key play by Vanderbilt. That's the extra point, and we have that two point lead again. Well, I was hoping we'd get some points in the second quarter, and I'd sit down and eat peanuts and eat beer and drink Coca Cola, and I didn't get to do that. Just kicked it off to us, and they kicked it on the ground purposely this time. Jeremiah Castillo gets it back there. Jeremiah's a good athlete, he's a fine young man, too. That's a block. Real fine block. They have some effort on blocking there. Jim I from Phoenix City, Alabama. All police on the carry. And Paul kind of stumbled over his fullback to guard one fullback. Had to be. Took him off freshman from Huntsville, Tennessee, Huntsville, Alabama. They had several Huntsville players, as we did. Taking down for the first down. First down now, and they didn't have many of them to this point. And we ran over our foot back again. We run too much of a slant. Out of out and up. Pull back you all around the hole too much too. Real quick pitch in. Well, so great effort out there, but Fagan on his block. He didn't need it. He held the man up. That's Paul Cruz running with the ball. Jeff Fagan from Hollywood, Florida. They're coming right on. They're coming right on. You throw about 80 yards, 40 yards fast. That thing, the thing kind of a little fast as hell. There's a little man running with the football. Kenny Coley. It was good blocking there. Fine running too, hard running by Jeff Fagan. Bart Kraft down to you, Bart Kraft. Good well up. Get that man. Don't have a chance here. They don't have a chance here. Nobody's touching back out there. 
Try to run a little arc and it's going upstream to rock to the body. Let's see how fast that back there. Watch him how fast he gets his line back in his chin and his back there. We go for the field goal here. Over shot to back. Adam Ray held it and see the chin missed it. The left side knee in. He got one out and on the ground. Right guard, I mean. Got the Got it going. We're getting tackling the game is at him. He's doing a good job there. We are tackle, but we asked him well. Well, Lyle, that's the stop for long. Well, big table one, Lyle. Body flying is back there. I mean, big. Jackie Sam is back there. He saw the rest of the pitching in the one lot. That was a perfect pass then. Perfect pass on him down and out. Right in the slot between our two deep men. Edwards and Bobby Jones. All right, man, I hurt your arm, man. I hurt your arm, arm tackle. Of course, I really arm tackle, not tackle at all. Just outside of us again over here. Real fine catch, beautiful catch. He caught that ball between two people who was out of Hard to breathe is best room in there. All right, here's the next play. Is it Terrence interception for the touchdown, Coach? 72 yard return. He's throwing. We have a rush on the end. Terrence back there. As he's got in front of him, takes the ball. We have a block on this. Later on, I really don't think the next day. I really think it was probably. Might have been taking a chance. Maybe not. He's going to score anyway. We got a, we got a penalty there. We so badly about it. Beautiful play. The rush certainly helped out on that. Hope it's got your back. Gray held it. See the Kim kick it through. Uh, Terry Sanders kicking off. Saw Joe Dilly. Big C. Bless his heart. I think we're going in. No, I don't know whether we're going in or we're in or not now. Stan Gay on the bottom of the tackle. Stan got the tackle. He's dead. And we don't get that show in there. We go one of these days later. There's another one. We grab him. I feel I'd rather grab him than not grab him. Everybody's asking here. We got a little shoulder rest. He's knocking into one of our men. Put that shoulder to him. You take a little something out of him. And Mike Pitts back there rushing in it. Youngster made it another great play. He made some great passes getting rid of the ball while he was being rushed, probably right in his mustache. Starts out of here, he almost got to him then. Thomas Boyd's speed stays us there. Go Dilly, he played at Alabama, one of my teammates. Nashville, Arkansas. We got outside of us here. And then out of bounds, stop the clock. Joe's brother Jim, we're at an old arc now. They used to be kicked, can't stop. Whoopoo! That was a good hit for mine. I believe that's Mike Pitt. Russ Wood, huh? Russ Wood, okay, that's good. Russ is from Elba. That's the father of the coach. And we have a good pitch up by Blitz fairly well in. That came from behind again. Russ was the guy to again. Real fine play. And the half, out of the 16, down to Bill 7. Enjoy the colors of spring all year round by decorating your table with elegant stoneware from Central Bank. Choose from two exquisite patterns and computer features. Combining the gracious, elegant look of fine bone china and the oven, microwave, and dishwasher piece durability of today's stoneware. We're serving up savings, so come by Central and get something extra for yourself. Exquisite stoneware for savers. Another good reason to bank at Central. Member FDIC. Oh, what a gift. Potato chip potato. Taste it. Oh, yeah? How else do you think they make them so fresh and crisp and gold and light? 
Sarge, does this mean we're rich? No, son. It means the arm is rich, and I'm the arm. Golden Flake, good as gold. I noticed that uh, Dr. Thomas once again was in the dressing room after the game last night. Yeah, Dr. Thomas and Dr. Scott both were up there. We had a bang thrust. Mm -hmm. Dr. Thomas was football at two, which he thought he liked to kill a bird out of the and He knew a heck of a lot more about football than I did. And he let me know it. Dr. Thomas hadn't told me yet, but I'm mad he thought it several times. I wouldn't blame him. So this week, uh, our university feature, we're going to meet a former quarterback. We're all proud of. He's now a law student. He's working on a master's degree at the same time. And he's a student assistant coach. So Stedman, he's a walk-on coach. Walk -on. I'm yeah. Stedman Shuley. I'm studying at the University of Alabama for a law degree and a master's in public administration. I moved to Tuscaloosa several years ago for two reasons. One, to get a good education. And the other is to win national championships in my favorite extracurricular activity, football. I played on two national championship football teams. Along the way, I learned a lot about dedication, planning, preparation, and teamwork, principles I'll always consider important. As a student assistant coach, I hope to be involved with more national championship football teams, and I know I'll keep learning from Coach Bryant, a master teacher when it comes to success and winning. I believe our law center is like our football team, one of the best. One of my personal goals have a direct and positive impact on our state and country. What I'm learning here will help me achieve that goal. I'm proud to be a student at the University of Alabama. For 150 years, Alabama's first university. You know, it's all faith or something like that. You know, you get him back. To, you know, right. Great for our team, too, but we stand him back. I saw a couple other gentlemen there. Hey, you you mentioned now, I'm not sure it got on the air, but you mentioned he was a volunteer, a walk volunteer, volunteer, yeah. volunteer coach, not a student coach. Is no, he's not a student coach. He, he's a... Uh, Exactly. Look, I think we'd be amiss if we didn't mention the Alabama following we had in Nashville last night. We sold nearly 17,000 tickets. Yeah, and that's wonderful. And of course, always, I, even back years and years and years ago, people of Alabama and Vanderbilt, or Nashville and, and Alabama, or Tennessee and Alabama, I should say, would visit one another. Uh, I remember many years ago, when uh, I know a lot of people coming down here in Nashville saying that. That's good, and we, that's one of the things Roy Kramer and I were talking about last night, Charlie. They rode the bus, they took the bus down to Mississippi State. And uh, it's coming to this, you can't go any place now for less than $100,000. And there was a time very few years ago when very few people do $100,000. It's out of a game. And, uh, but prices are so high now, and they're getting higher all the time, that you better have some money if you can go by bus. And uh, so that's what it's coming to. And, uh, well, I'm, I'm not. I'm trying to keep the schedule in the end and let my successor do that, but uh, they keep that in mind. Anyway, we've got a point of lead here. I think the second half we're going to go out and blow them out, but we don't. Maybe we will one of these days. We'll be back for the third quarter following these important messages from our sponsors. It's Alabama kicking off our third quarter of play as Terry Sanders. They won the toss earlier because uh, we got we won the toss. We had the toss. Let's take the ball. They'll have to win the fourth quarter. That's what I don't really like to do. I like the other team to win the toss. So we start off here. They start with high formation, which they win the last few times. Lyles and Boyd made the stop for just a few yards. back to here. 
Number eight is that number eight would frighten me to run into football. We got inside our pursuit here. I mean, our containment. We caught that one out of bounds, right in front of our bench over there. I remember that. Well, there's that big gap again. We go over in the small gap. Let the back go immediately, grabbing the kick. Hey, George Yawn. Paul Field out of balance. Quarterback. Paul Field is quarterback now. Goes back to pass. Jesse Bendro. Jesse Bendro. I thought we'd go right out there and go to passing on him and just fumble around, do something, and get a fumble. We got whipped badly then. We made a couple of yards. Jeff Fagan running the football in. Joe Beasley. They fumbled that. The fourth down. We had the first down made when the fumble was over at the kick. We got big Hardy Walker got baptism last night. Hardy Walker and big children yesterday, both of them from Huntsville. They played quite a bit. Most, uh, Emmanuel King was in for the first time. Yeah, game. I saw Emmanuel pass his lips, too, when he first in there. And Mickey Hood, because... Mickey Hood, Hood, I mean, Sammy Hood. Hood. Maybe interception. Oh, maybe interception. One of them, I forgot who was came across a long way to break up the pass. That's the thing. That's what I was talking about, the jab in there. So he's even. Thomas Boyd knocked him out of bounds over there, pushed him out of bounds. Grab him out of bounds, whatever you want to call it. Bingo! That's a fine play by Eddie Lowe. Eddie Lowe from Phoenix City. They put two or three men on old Warren Lyle, but not old Warren Lyle, but old Warren Lyle, but he gets back there pretty well. That play that was encouraging the fans to holler most of the game. Particularly on kickoffs and that sort of thing. So they're punting now. They wound up, lined up in what we call regular spread punts that time. They have an excellent kicker, too, I'll tell you. I think that's about the only one we didn't handle. It went out of bounds. So we backed up to our level. That's a chip going around there. Blocking and running. We made a yard here. Yeah, I don't know what that's called. Play, you got a bad staff or son or what? Pick up two or three yards. Fall us to Gardendale. Malcolm punts again. Malcolm Sunderland. Find coverage in. Everybody's the way is down there. Everybody's ready. And they break down. Well, they take over. And he rushed real well this time. He did a great job getting rid of that ball. That guy should have caught it too. He heard noises. Russ Wood was the one putting the pressure on him. Best thing they do, of course, is protect the football. Nice pass there. Beautiful pass. And I don't think he can be that tough. If all you do is take the catch of the football, but all you do is get a block and hold and pass it. But I tell you, that's pretty tough on defense. But if the defense doesn't get enough, the reason I say that, we've tried it. Interception, Thomas Boyd. We didn't like the Thomas then. We had a heavier blocker that came get out in front of him. Not bad running, though, but Thomas. He put the ball up and picked up Bingo. That might have been a little late there, it's close. We take over now. Tim Curley back at quarterback. We have a little jiggle from Tim. They jiggle his ground again. Got a run stop play. Tim is fine on the football. We have to run a circle. We're not a big circle. I don't get turned up. He's you're not threatening them until you're going north and south. Going north. They take 
goes over there. I have to punch always out of the field of play for his automatic first back. John Elias, that's a stop for no game. John Elias from Columbus, Mississippi. Georgia. Georgia, what did I say? Mississippi? Yeah, Georgia. Mike Rodriguez is in there, and Richard Chin. Well covered back there at the end, but where am I Castillo? They turn each other punch well. It's kind of surprising though that after we blocked the punch, you would think they'd slow down. Somebody shot the gap then. Earl Collins and Mobile running with the ball. A bunch of running around and nobody blocked anybody. That was a pretty completion to Mickey Vineyard. Real fine catch, too. A beautiful pass from Coley. Mickey Vineyard, the freshman, caught it right next to him, and he should have moved in hell on the football. He had a little block in there, but the man ran the wrong place, ran outside, and didn't get anything. That's what blocking in. Boy, oh boy. I was seeing it over right tackle for two. And you got fourth and eleven. Finally, if you go here, hold the shots back. I didn't really hold it. Cross Frank McGee down. No good. Two to Ken Tyler. Frank McGee, good friend of ours from Montgomery. Frank's been well, he was up there and looked great. He was wonderful to see Frank back. I bet he hadn't missed a game since he's been here. Intercepted by Eddie Lowe here. Eddie runs pretty well out there. I skewed him on the bus line. I thought he was going to run for a touchdown. I didn't. I thought he was about to get killed running out there where all the people were. Then Cody keeps the ball. All has to keep it, they make you keep it. You always keep it anyway. Fine defensive play for Vanderbilt. That's some defensive play for Vanderbilt. That little block in there, some running too by Jeff Fagan. Make you in there as uh Mickey Field twenty six. That's Moore, Ricky Moore. Ricky Moore made a block there. Let's turn inside here, and he scores easy. Not easy, but he scores. So we don't count that when we got to score twice. Line came off the ball pretty well, although he did have a little penetration. Jeff Fagan goes in behind Jeff. And believe me, Ed Cox, Ed Cox got turned around then. Larry Brown, Steve Mott. Mark Cox. Cox was turned by them then. Steve Booker made the stop. Steve Booker from Hustler. Steve Sophomore. Fine defensive play for Steve in. Real nice hit. In the third quarter, Alabama 22, Vanderbilt 7. First, you thought all it would take was a pair of gold earrings. That didn't work. Neither did the gold necklace. But then, you had the audacity to send me all those great cheap curls. I'll have you know. I love. Nobody says no to Golden Flake. It's good as gold. By the way, what did you say? Now, you don't have to lock up your money for six months or longer to get double-digit interest. The Central Bank's Easy Access Investment. You can get your money anytime from 30 to 89 days. Recently, this investment has paid up to 15% on as little as $1,000. So call or come by your nearest Central Bank and ask for the current rate in more details. Don't lock up your money. 
stay short with simple, easy access injection. Coach, we're running just a little behind, so tonight we'll just go right on in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, let's get it over with. And we played better in the fourth quarter. Three men front this time. Flying back a little deep. They get outside that three men pretty easily. And did. Rodriguez. Yeah, Rodriguez got good speed. He got out there pretty good shape. Rodriguez been injured all year, and we've let Kevin just lay him off, and he got as well. I think he's well now. Yeah, that's plenty again. Saw Jim Booth. Tap old black up there with George Mooney. Fine defensive play for Ben the Bill here, and they him a the little man up out there, and he took a lot of punches. All right. Coach, here's the third longest touchdown pass in Alabama history. Oh, is it? A good protection there, and the fake wasn't any good. Good protection, Lou George on, just ran by him. He's still running. He's not going to catch him. I was looking for his flag. Beautiful, beautiful play. 81 yards. Jim Coley, Simon's in there. Mark Nick. Going for two. Going for two, and I was wrong on that. You know, if you go for two, if you're 22, 21, you don't have to go for one. I thought earlier that I was wrong on going there. I knew I was wrong on one of them. That was it right there. Josh Henderson makes a tackle on the return. Fine defensive play in there, all out there, ready low. He's up for both. He's booking. That was fine. The face in there. They get rid of the ball. He throws it quickly. Fine defensive play then. Excellent defensive play. Let's look at it again. Jim Babb and Joe Raggett. A nice block by one of our people. We have it again. Run the circle there, we're right together, and we throw it out down there on the goal line. I thought Notre Dame thought it better than that. It's called a forward pass, incompleted forward pass. And we have our guard pulled around. We really have a mix up there, kid. No good kill with your own people. That's the pass. That's the protection, man. Mm -hmm. Mr. Martin. Malcolm Simmons kicking. He got a real fine roll on there. So it was a huge kick, but his roll was excellent. And it takes over. No man backfield, we call it. Popeye used to use that. The soul is. He got fired after a while. Bingo, that's a good hit. Mike Pitts. Make Mike Pitts. Pitts in Baltimore. Don't stick him for the pass, they get you down low a lot, too, and that ties our people up. He steps quicker, he gets the ball out of there. Go to the end zone. Automatic touchback. Alabama's X over. Alec Gray's the quarterback now. Looks like we're opening the door. You saw it like open the gate. 